हे व्हाट्सअप गाइज दिस इज सोहन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग युअर टेक्निकल स्पार्क चॅनल फ्रेंड्स दिस विल बी अवर लास्ट व्हिडिओ ऑन टेलिक्स एन पॉईंट सिक्युरिटी सिरीज अँड इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू फोकस ऑन डॅशबोर्ड ॲज वेल ॲज क्वेरीज अँड रिपोर्ट्स ओके सो दॅट यू नो आफ्टर इम्प्लिमेंटिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर प्रोडक्ट इन युअर एन्वायरमेंट यू मस्ट बी गेटिंग युअर डिटेक्शन्स राईट लाईक व्हायरस डिटेक्शन ऑर स्क्रिप्ट डिटेक्शन दर आर लॉट्स ऑफ टाईप ऑफ डिटेक्शन अवेलेबल सो हाव एक्झॅक्टली यू कॅन यु नो रिव्ह्यू ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो दिस इज वॉट आय एम गोन टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट इन दिस व्हिडिओ सो फॉर दिस लेट मी शो यू प्रॅक्टिकली हाव एक्झॅक्टली यू कॅन चेक दॅट आफ्टर दिस स्मॉल इंट्रो व्हिडिओ Hey, welcome back guys. Now as always, let's launch our EPO console and then very first you will see the dashboard, right? So this is the default dashboard when you first time configure the EPO server you will see in your uh, machine. So to navigate to the endpoint security, you will see that there are a couple of, you know, uh, dashboards are by default present. And this is what I have shown during the uh, uh, extension installation. So for an example, we haven't configured our uh, ATP into the observer mode. So this probably has to be empty. Yeah, there is no data inside this. But if I check the enforce events, right, then I'm getting the data available here. See, the event counts here are five. These are the empty because this is for the different, different block events, allow events, clean events. Every dashboard has its own different, different role. And this is the clean events like above so both are same block events allow events it just a uh, it has you know a line chart and it has the circular now let's go to the another dashboard for this uh, let's go to the endpoint security detection status okay so guys okay, similar way you can create your different different uh, or you can set your different different dashboard as per your requirement and if it case if you found one of the dashboard is useful and let's say uh, some of the things are covered in this dashboard and some of the cover things are covered in n4 da uh, dashboard so what you can do you can simply duplicate this dashboard okay and then add your uh, you know uh, remove one of this and add your uh, different screen from the n4 screen okay so this is very simple and how exactly you can configure the dashboard i am not going to in uh, very much practical right now because same things are covered in my previous series now let's jump to the uh, queries and reports okay all through all your uh, incidents are available here threat event logs okay so here you can simply you know uh, change the status and here you will get all the details right but if you go to the queries and reports here again telix uh, if you expand telix groups you will find endpoint security and here again basis on your requirement you can check which reports you would required and accordingly simply run that for an example let me run this one see a real protect cloud real protect client so this are type of the events are available so if i click on real protect Cl cloud i'll get all the information back and to export this you can simply click on the export data and export that uh, report into the csv or you know uh, xml the pdf whatever the format you want as well as you can schedule those reports from here as well as from the from the server task as well so that you will get those report daily basis on your email for that you will make sure that your smtp has to be integrated with your epo server mail server now okay similar way you can uh, review all the dashboard which is available and for any reason if you found okay these are the, you know what it uh, is not fulfilling your requirement so in the situation what you can do you can simply select that uh, particular report and then click on duplicate it will ask you where exactly you want to save so you can save into the existing group if you have created like uh, under the private shared okay if not you can create one more group like ans and inside that you can put this report change the name as per your choice and you are done okay and then when the report is saved like example here is the dlp report right when the reports are saved you can simply click on edit and add or remove to the customization as per your requirement it's very simple so hopefully because you know i'm not going into the much details as i said earlier because in this series uh, my aim is just to train you guys and uh, okay you build the confidence okay so that you can do your things by your own only the thing is understand the concept 
so that after practicing you will be able to become next version of you in the cyber security world so that's it in this video this is sohan signing out and this is the last video so there won't be any further video available in our telix endpoint security series in case of you have any question queries or required my help in one of the implementation planning designing architecture or anything then feel free to contact me on the my email id it's available in my channel homepage about section as well as you can contact me on my telegram channel instagram facebook page wherever you will feel convenient so with this thanks for watching this entire series and i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye and hope you all guys are enjoying the new year i'll catch you in the next video bye bye